Here's our tail of the tape for this heavyweight contest. Thomas Mosey, 10 and a half pounds heavier, and will enjoy a two inch reach advantage. With professional experience, it's four that has 33 fights to the 26 of Mosey, but Spore's got a very impressive 72% KO ratio, and that's what he talks about being that natural KO power. Ladies and gentlemen, these two big men set to battle it out over three three minute rounds. Fighting out of the black corner, a WAKO national and world super heavyweight champion. He brings with him a professional record of 25 wins, six losses, two bounce scored even, and 18 career knockouts. He makes his glory debut tonight. Standing six feet, five inches tall, 1.96 meters. He weighed in at 240 and one half pounds, 109.2 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Czech Republic, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Daniel D. D. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a WKU European and world champion. His record stands at 19 wins, six losses, one bounce score and even, and six career knockouts. He stands six feet seven and one half inches, 2.02 meters. He weighed in at fight time at 251 and one half pounds, 114 kilos. Fighting out of Slovakia, he's known as the Slovakian giant, Tomas Mosny. The referee in charge of this bout, once again, Atsushi Onare. Okay, this is Glory Road, okay? Three means three rounds, three knockdown rounds. Okay, check out. As recently as last summer, these two men were sparring partners. They trained together. They know each other so well, Joe. How will that affect what we're about to see? Well, it's going to give one person confidence. Whoever had the better in the sparring round is going to come in with a lot more confidence. So that's got to play in whoever that was favor. I'm sure if you ask them, they'll say they had the advantage. Mosney wearing the white gloves, Spore in the black. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think, at least in the face and the haircut, Thomas Mosney looks like you, Joe. Yeah, you said at the hotel you thought it was me. From he's a distance. A, he's probably a foot taller than me <laughs> and about 50 pounds heavier than me. Maybe so, more. But other than that, it's identical. Stop! He certainly got the look of a champion, doesn't he? Wait. Must be a good-looking guy. Let's see how good of a fighter he is. 19-6-1, not the most dynamic record, but look at those heavy hands. Yeah, he's got good knees, too. He's really well known for his high kick. Sfor, on the other hand, is going to come in, use his inside boxing and angles, and he does throw a lot of front kicks, where Mosney says he'll have an answer for that. Mosney's fought twice in glory. This is the debut for Daniel Sfor. He's very excited to be here. Lives in a small town in the Czech Republic, right on the border with Germany. This has... Wait! Oh, what a knee! Yeah, Mosby with a massive knee. He ripped the body and went up with that left knee. Good setup. Good flexibility as well. Spor is being the pressure fighter, so and Mosby's fighting backwards, so he's waiting to punch backwards and time those knees. Okay. Ready? Stop. Okay, ready. Fight! Mosny did not like that. But what man would? High kick from Mosny. <laughs> Mosny says he constantly battles back pain, back conditions, hates flying because he's so cramped. But it's something he feels he must deal with if he wants to be a champion. He ate a right hand. Stop! Both guys are having their moments. Well, Skvor has a knockout percentage of 72%. So he's got heavy hands if he can land them. Yeah, he's gonna. He's trying to walk in, and then once he's inside, he tries to punch on angles. Stop! Break. Again, we are at the Rotterdam Ahoy Arena getting set for our main event tonight. Bader, Hari, and Hesti Gurgis. We are sold out, nearly 11,000 tickets sold. Stop! Ready? Wait! Stop! How about a couple of 
of fighter profiles, Joe, your favorite. We always start in the white corner, and that means Slovakian giant time. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see that six foot seven and a half inches, that real uh, tall height, 250 pounds at only 26 years old. And he does have a lot of speed, uh, speed strength, and determination. Four time amateur champion of Slovakia, trying to really get uh, his first pro world title. As for his opponent, Didi is the nickname for Daniel Spore. Yeah, he's that natural born KO artist we're seeing, so he's really trying to close the distance, let his hands go uh, with those boxing combinations. We really haven't seen many knees for him, but that's because Mosny is such a tall fighter. Our glory girls on hand, Alyssa, Stephanie, Bella, and Madeline. There's Alyssa. Feel free to follow them on their Instagram accounts. They have plenty of good pictures. Hey. Joe knows that very well. I see him on the Glory Girls pages all day long. Round two scheduled for three in the heavyweight division. Mosney, the giant in the white gloves, score wearing black. We're about to see the judges scoring for the first round, and all five give it to the Slovakian. Yeah, that's that's the right call. He did some good damage with the knees. Stop. He is fighting backwards, but he is throwing more. And man, okay. Wait. Total strikes. Mosny with more thrown, score more accurate. Stop. Wait. There's a high kick from Mosny. And it's from the lead leg, too. Picks it up almost like a question mark kick. Yeah, it doesn't even look like really a switch kick, does it? No, he just lifts it right from uh, the plant. How difficult is that to do? Stop. It is. You need a lot of good hip control. Wait. So for a big guy like that, very impressive. Especially in the close range, he can throw it. Overhand right sneaks Stop. in for Swore. Hey. You may have seen briefly in the fighter profile, Swore prides himself on his cooking ability. Says he can bake or cook Ready. anything. Wait. Maybe you find that interesting. Not the pinching, not the pinching. Stop! Wait! Nice jab from Mosley. Stop! I like when he's hitting and moving. Because Skvor wants to come in and really use his boxing. So Mosley needs to stay out the corners, keep moving his feet. Stop! Well, Skvor has to win the next two rounds here unless he gets a knockdown after losing the first round, according to all five judges. Skvor looks, Skvor, I mean, uh, Mosley loves that little baby Superman punch, doesn't he? Yeah, it's from a close range. Tries to really close it, and then that quick left high kick. Skvor wants Mosley just to stand in the pocket and throw punches. Mosley does not want to do that. I find Mosny too content with backing himself in the corner. That's when he's got to circle out. We've seen him a few times use his hooks and circles. But big boys, fatigue can be kicking in. And Knesset score. Stop! Mosny looking up at the clock. Good opportunity for Spore to keep coming forward with his hands. Another leaping punch for the Giants. Indeed, we are in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. This is their mecca of combat sports, the Ahoy Arena. Some fantastic bouts have taken place in this arena. Bader Hari will okay, be fighting right, in okay. this country for the first time in six years as he makes his return to the ring tonight against Hesti okay, Gertz. Yeah, that's, that's why right. everyone's here in the pack way. to see what Bader's coming out. We last saw him against Rico, and we didn't get to see a full fight with him back from an injury. So let's see if we can get a full fight out of Bader this time. <laughs> Okay, this is why not around, okay? Hi! 
Fight! Here's a battle of quotes for you. Score said he likes to bake cakes to give to his opponents after he beats them. And Mosney says that he loves cake, sometimes can eat five or six cakes at one time. And there's our judges scoring. Mosney getting three judges to score that round for him. So unless Spore gets a knockdown here, Mosdy will win. Round two is definitely better for Spore, and that's because he's pressuring. He's getting Mosdy into those corners and letting his hands go. A good low Stop. kick for Spore could be good as well. Hey. Slapping right Stop. hand from Mosdy. Look at the body hey. kicks, Joe. Not close. <laughs> nice job by our referee to dive in between these two heavyweights. There's that lead left Green kick Green that Mosley th likes to throw. Wait. Wait. I think we can all agree the best left high kick in the division comes from Restovac. Yeah, we saw that against Gerges uh, in Glory 45 Green Amsterdam. Left. Stop. Head kick knockout. One of the best we saw in 2017. Wait. We saw a good one from Pe Panamarung as well. Story on Koplovinsky. Several great Stop. high kickers. Lady. And earlier Fight. tonight, Glory Superfight Series, Tajani Bestati won his fight with the exact same kick. Goes with the right foot. Go, go, go. Minute 20 to go Stop. here in round Break. three. According Fight. to our calculations, Mosny will win this fight unless he gets knocked down or knocked out. Stop! Wait! Both corners screaming at their fighters to be more active as Spore walked right into a left hand. This is where Spore needs to put some work together, mix up some body, maybe some uppercuts. If he has the energy, that's the issue. Go, go. Mosdy's very comfortable in the corner. Stop! Fight! It may be a little too comfortable. If you start fighting the bigger names in the division, uh, that Stop. can't play in your favor. Okay. Especially Fight. with someone like Rico Verhoeven. Or Bader Hart. <laughs> exactly. Spinning back fist attempt there for Mosdy. Go, go, go. Stop! Not much energy left between these two fighters. Stop! Last time, last time. Wait! Stop! So that'll do it. These two heavyweights do not score a knockdown. Do not score a knockout. We'll go to the judges' scorecards when we return to Rotterdam. Joe, as we jump into highlights from this fight, I think there were some, right? Yeah, and it was all the same kind of fight, all three rounds. First success with Mosny with the knees in the first round, but since that, we really didn't see him utilize that. But what you saw was score really coming forward, Mosny backing up, counter fighting off his heels. Third round, both of them started getting a little bit more exhausted, so you saw a little bit more clinching in this round, but overall it was a little bit of a sloppy fight because of the close range style fighting, but regardless, from the judges' scorecard, it looks like Mosny edged. Well, here are the strike statistics. Mosny landing 64 punches, and that's just about all he did, where a score had the edge on kicks with 18, 18 landed. And you saw Mosny's strikes landed by zone, really focusing on the head punches, where you saw a score really trying to use kicks to the body. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's look at the totals. Two of our judges score the bout 29-28. The remaining three score at 30-27, all for your winner by unanimous decision. Tomas Mosny. There he is, Thomas Mosny, who wins this fight. Who do you want to see him fight next in the heavyweight division? Well, there's a lot of good fights he can have, but uh, 
again, I still don't think he's ready for the big top name. So I would say maybe someone uh, close ranked to number 10 or uh, give him a shot maybe at the top five. But um, I still think he needs a little bit more development, especially with his conditioning and the ability to move forward and backwards as well.